Hello, I'm Beard Boy OG, and today I'm gonna explain why I think PewDiePie would be a great addition to the Dream SMP and how I think he would work story wise. And there's twists and turns to the possibility of him joining the SMP, so stay tuned. First off, we're gonna talk about him having ties with the creators. Number two, talk about his comedy and comedic potential with content with other creators. Talk about his top four possibilities on being on the server. First off is having ties with some creators. First creator we have to talk about is Carl Jacobs, who works with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, in general, has done multiple things with PewDiePie in terms of his channel and other types of content. The biggest part is the sub to PewDiePie movement. Carl Jacobs and the Mr. Beast gang were seen at the Super Bowl wearing Sub to PewDiePie shirts, helping the Sub to PewDiePie movement. PewDiePie, PewDiePie has had Mr. Beast appear in his music video. Congratulations. Next is Dream, and obviously Dream has made plenty of videos about PewDiePie. He's the one who discovered PewDiePie's Minecraft seed, updated everybody about that seed, apologized about that seed, and showed how much money he made from that seed. From comedy and content possibility standpoints, PewDiePie I think would be a great addition to the Dream SMP. First off, he is his own fuel of energy and humor. He can literally make inanimate objects, favorable characters in his YouTube videos and is pretty well known for being humorous. And his humor usually lines with the Dream SMP members humor. He is also known for doing his own lore in his own Minecraft Let's Plays, those being the Minecraft Epic Let's Play and his Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. Most knownly, the Water Sheep Saga from his Minecraft Epic series. This was all done on the fly through improv, which would work really well with the Dream SMP because a lot of the earlier content was improv and still some content is improv. I think PewDiePie and another creator, Ranbu, would make a interesting pair in terms of comedy, Rambu feels more of like a dry comedic character. He's not the bunctious characters like Tommy and Tubbo, who are chaotic and make f these funny jokes from a chaotic standpoint. He is more down to earth compared to those two. And I think that, compared with PewDiePie's just wacky humor, could work really well in PewDiePie's favor and can make some interesting interactions with the Syndicate. He has also worked, like I said earlier, with KSI in, in some of his videos, and other creators have appeared on the server. Other big star creators. Once again, again, KSI, who appeared for a couple days. Ninja, who historically has the house right next to Tommy in its house, was on there for a couple days. And the biggest of them all, Lil Nas X, a American hip hop and rapper. If you got this far into the video, consider subscribing. It helps me out. Only about 8% of people are subscribed, so if you can help, that'd be wonders. Let's get back to the video. Now, let's get to the top four possibilities of PewDiePie on the Dream SMP and how that would most likely go. Number four, guest star like KSI or Ninja. Even though this is the most likely of him joining the SMP, it is the least likely in terms of story. PewDiePie has done his own lore through improv before, so it would only make sense that he'd be good in that department from a story perspective on the Dream SMP. Yes, he would make some interesting content for those couple of days, or day, turning on what they choose for him, but it just... He wouldn't have a big story, well, in terms of the story, and would just be a one-off, non-canon character. Number three being a villain of an arc, since he does have a chaotic nature. I think he can make an interesting villain. He can obviously play a villain if he wants to. He can make himself look like the bad guy. Hell, he's made his own bad guys of himself before. He can make just a... M he can make 
funny, villainous characters, I think. I think he can make a good villain. Now, how would that be? By villain, it's more of an antagonist than villain. Somewhere more of a, a technoblade. He would want, probably want to dethrone a government, but maybe he doesn't want to work with people as much. PewDiePie seems to be more of a loner in terms of Minecraft, as he's only played with Jacksepticeye and his wife, Marcia, in recent times. So, he could make a fun villain character, but I can't think of much he would do besides throwing the government in the Dream SMP storyline. Which, spoiler alert's coming up. Let's keep listening to find out. Number two. Being a Tommy in it quackity like character, what do I mean by that? I mean a comedic centric character that has some role to the plot, but not much. What do I mean by that? Quackity early on in the storyline, same thing with Tommy in it, were very comedic characters. Now, if he was more like Quackity, for the most part, he would stay as a secondary character. Quackity, even though he had his own moments, he wasn't looked at as one of the main characters of the story. He is a hugely comedic character, and I think PewDiePie would fit that role very nicely. But the problem is, while well, he is a loner, he wants to be probably with as minimal people as possible. So, I don't think that would work as much. And being a Tom Tommy in it like character... He could make himself seem like a main character, but I don't think he would in this instance since it's not his channel and he's probably not caring as much to do that. And number one, the most likely scenario I think for a possible storyline for this Dream SMP scenario, him joining the Syndicate with Technoblade, Rambu, and Filza. He already has his own version of dethroning a government from a story standpoint. What do I mean? Go back to his Minecraft Let's Play. Even though it was just done on the fly, through improv, he had a storyline with Water Sheep and the cancel, Council of Water Sheep, eventually the Council of Beetroot, which kind of served as the governing body of his land and he had to listen to him. Eventually he would overthrow them. Even though it was done for comedic purposes, I think he could somewhat do it in this role as well. He has history of this kind of character in a way and working with other characters similar to his comedic style like a Technoblade and a Filza who in ways are closer to PewDiePie than like a Tommy in it. He would be an interesting fit with them. He kind of has a similar comedic style to Technoblade. He does have a reverse of T Rambu and Filza, which could make for some great comedy. Imagine PewDiePie as a, the fourth member that is secret, and them trying to overthrow any future government if that calls for the story. He is a decent enough character PvP-wise to get the job done. Imagine PewDiePie with the rest of the Syndicate going off the battle, and then making some witty jokes as he's trying to defeat some kind of enemy. Maybe shooting Tommy in it. From a story perspective, and a real life perspective, he might he's not the greatest fan of Tommy in it. We don't know if that is behind the scenes, if they actually are, are good with each other, or if this is just for entertainment purposes. But just for the fact that we know that, they might play the role of hitting each other. And I think we could see some back and forth from Tommy and PewDiePie while they go against each other as enemies. We could see Filza and Rambu trying to talk PewDiePie down because Tommy is a decent P PvPer, decent to good. And that fight would probably go bad for PewDiePie, but he could theoretically hold his own. He has learned throughout his Minecraft experience to be better. I think something like that can make interesting drama for the Dream SMP. And he does, once again, have similar interests with the Syndicate. Overall, I think he would be a great pick as a member of the Syndicate for the Dream SMP, with having history of being able to play a no-government 
like kind of character, his knowledge of the game, and the comedic possibilities with characters like Rambo. I think PewDiePie on the Dream SMP has a lot of potential, but it probably won't happen. From, as we already discussed, Tommy in it and Wilbur Soot, not like in PewDiePie. From Tommy Innit's perspective, I don't know if he actually hates PewDiePie or not. He was trying to be a foil inside of PewDiePie, so maybe it might not be that way. We do know Tommy does talk with people behind the scenes to make things better. But Wilbur kind of seems like he just doesn't like him. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments, and if you got this far into the video, leave a like on this video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for choosing me to talk about this topic, and I'll see you all next time.